So today we will learn the algorithm for the scenarios with the ventricular tachycardia and ventricular fibrillation. So first of all, <coughs> the thing you should wear gloves before you performing the manipulation. So the next thing you need to check the uh, placement of the patient on the flat surface and the absence of alerts for yourself. Then you need to check <coughs> Consci uh, consciousness, breathing, and the circulation of the patient. How you do it? Uh, you perform in the triples. Uh, you perform. Uh, you check in the consciousness with the uh, uh, gentle palpating on the shoulders and asking the patient, "What's happened? What with you? Hey, do you hear me?" He is not responding, he is uh, checked like unconscious. Then you check in the breathing. You perform in the triple safari maneuver, the extension of the neck, the opening of the jaw, and then opening the mouth. And checking the chest movement with the rule here, feel, uh, here, feel, and see. If chest movement is absent for less than 10 seconds, the patient uh, remain unconscious and not breathing. Also checking the pulse on the carotid artery right now. So absence of the pulse also is the absence of the conscious breathing and circulation. Then you call in for help. We got emergency here and you perform in starting to perform in the CPI. You place in your uh, hands with the dominant hand on the base of the palm, on the sternum and the body and xiphoid processors, uh, processors connection. Then you perform in the Compressions. Compressions will be 30, with ratio 30 to 2, 10 to uh, 100 to 120 compressions per minute. Eight, nine, ten. Then you perform in two breaths, opening the mouth, forming it with the Ambu back. So, two breaths and checking the movement of the chest. Depth of the compressions should be not higher than five, six centimeters. And the breath should be not longer than six, eight seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, breath. You should perform five, six cycles. Seven, eight, nine, ten, two breaths. You should perform five, six cycles before reassessment of the patient. The quantity of compressions per minute should be 100, 120. And one more. Five, four, three, two, one, breath. Two breaths and then you check in the state of the patient. Again, checking the consciousness, checking the breathing, the sapar maneuver and the uh, circulation. If it's absent, you're asking the uh, nurse on the, to give intravenously one milligram of epinephrine every three, five minutes. Then uh, you're asking to uh, perform the ECG of the patient. If you're not asking to perform the ECG, you won't get the ECG sheet from the uh, instructor or from the teacher. On the ECG sheet, you'll find the ECG. You got less than 10 seconds to uh, establish the diagnosis. If you don't know the diagnosis, it's better to proceed with the compressions. If you can see the diagnosis, if you can see the ventricular tachycardia, ventricular fibrillation, you're saying that it's ventricular tachycardia or fibrillation of the ventriculars. Uh, then you're asking to perform the defibrillation and 
continue proceeding with the compressions. Then to breath. Then you asking the nurse and you saying that you need to give 300 milligrams of amiodarone after third unsuccessful defibrillator strike or you need to uh, and you need to give one uh, 150 milligrams of amiodarone more after the fifth uh, inadequate defibrillator strike so when you hear the patient uh, the signal one minute left you need to perform one more CPR cycle. Ten, eleven, twelve. Five, four, three, two, one. Breath. Then you need once more check the patient condition with the breath, circulation, and the conscious, and then to pronunciate what may cause such a diagnosis. It will be 40 for H rules, hypo, uh, 40 for H rules, hypothermia, hypovolemia, hypohyperkalemia and uh, hypoglycemia. Uh, then about four uh, T's, tension pneumothorax, uh, toxins, <coughs> tamponade of the heart and the thrombosis. So that's all. I wish you good luck on the exam.